Hey everybody, welcome back to another haul video here at A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and today we're going to be going over all the stuff I acquired, all the geeky items I got in the month of August 2020. Let's go. <music> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And yeah, as always, there are only two rules for this. One, if you want me to review a specific product that I'm gonna highlight, leave those comments down below and I will happily do so. And two, let's just have some fun. Uh, here are some manga that I got. Uh, let's start things off with Dr. Stone Volume 12, one of my favorite series. I love how inventive and, and fun and just, lighthearted it can get but also very uh, dramatic and really pulls at your heartstrings on the whole human condition and how it I, I don't know it's a it's a real treat I, I really like those scenes in this manga where they examine human nature and our tenacity and our valuable uh, spirit and all we've accomplished and all that stuff so it really does get to you if you're into that kind of thing also uh, the art is uh, really fantastic. I, I love it. I, I can't uh, praise Boichi enough. I think he's fantastic at what he does. Uh, the other manga that I've got here, I got a double whammy of a Demon Slayer. Here is volume 14 with a really cool cover. This is one of my favorite covers. I love the contrast of colors right there <clears throat> with the pink and the green. And of course, here is volume 15. I love this series, man. And the art, um, Koyoharu is a wonderful mangaka. I love her art and it can get really bloody, intense, action-packed, and then it goes off into bizarre, comedic, chibi tones. I love that. It's it's such a great series. I, I, I'm a huge fan. Here's something I haven't gotten in a while. It is that time I got reincarnated as a slime, volume 13. If I remember correctly, the following volumes, 14 and 15, were both... Uh, postponed to later dates I think like November or December something like that and this was delayed as well so I finally got it uh, as, as always this is uh, such a delight uh, sometimes the backgrounds are missing like you'll read scenes like this and there's no backgrounds but that's okay I love the captivating art and I seriously think in my honest opinion that um, Fuse and, and Mitzvah and all the guys involved in the creation of this manga. Uh, this is some of the most underrated drawings. I love how cartoony yet um, anatomically right this series can be at times. Uh, yes, I'm saying that while talking about a character that turns into a ball of slime or is a ball of slime and ogre characters and all that stuff, but still, there's something very alluring. This is one of my favorite panels from this book. I love the attention to detail to the characters and the clothing and all that stuff, and I think uh, this is continues to be an underrated manga. Yes, it got super famous because of the anime, but not a lot of people like to talk about the manga for some reason, but I really like it. And finally, on the manga section of this haul, we got Beastars Volume 7, so I'm officially up to date with uh, Viz and their releases. And uh, yeah, this is really awesome. I can't wait to continue reading uh, Beastars. Gotta be careful with what I show here. I don't want to spoil anything for <laughs> new uh, readers for the series, but you can you can see some of the stuff that's happening here. I can't wait for more volumes. I can't wait to have uh, the full set, <laughs> but it sucks because we gotta wait uh, a really long time for Viz to put these out. Okay, so we talked about manga. Let's switch on over to anime, which is one of my favorite things. And I got a bunch of series, which is really cool. Uh, first, I got the full season of uh, The Rising of the Shield Hero. So here is season one, part one. And I got, of course, season one, part two. A, a really awesome series. I love me some good isekai. Uh, when it's done right, you're gonna have a blast. And with Rising of the Shield Hero, I didn't like all of it, but the overall presentation, the art, the, the story elements and all that stuff, I really enjoyed, and most of the characters I do like, so I was really excited to pick this up. I know it came out a while ago, but I waited for a bit and got it at a really good price online. So yeah, Rising of the Shield Hero. Here we have 
Another series that came out a while ago, Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, or the Blu-ray, I should say. It came out a while ago, not the series. Uh, Mob Psycho uh, is one of my favorite shows as well. The, the animation on this thing is just off the chain fantastic. And it's on another level. I always recommend this series because even though it's good, it, it has a lot of fans, it goes under the radar for a lot of people. Uh, I just think it's wonderful, and this season just blew my mind. And if you want a masterclass in doing amazing opening animations for a show, uh, watch uh, Mob Psycho's openings. Regardless of the catchy-ass songs, the style and the animation techniques at display here are just masterful in my opinion. Part of my childhood growing up was being exposed to anime for the first time with series like Sailor Moon, the Pokemon series, of course Dragon Ball Z, Yu Yu Hakusho, all that stuff. But there was one series in particular that I was hooked from day one and I watched everything and loved it and that is of course Inuyasha. I was really excited that it finally got a Blu-ray release and I am more than happy to collect the series. I've always watched it whenever it was on TV. Here is Inuyasha set one right here with the first 27 episodes and Inuyasha season two or set two blu-rays so yeah right off the bat 55 episodes i think the total will be six blu-rays plus the final act series which i still need to get so i'm excited i i'm really pumped up to get this love the spines love uh revisiting this series so much these characters are so great and part they're ingrained in my mind as part of my childhood that i cannot wait to revisit this and see it in uh hd this was a guilty pleasure of mine from summer 2019 it is how heavy are the dumbbells you lift uh the series is extremely wholesome under the disguise of working out and cute girls doing workout sessions but it's great for your mental health and it actually provides uh, enough stimulation for you to actually want to exercise or at least uh, live a healthier life eating uh, healthier and, and changing things up i know when i started watching it I took it upon myself to start changing the way I did things and get healthier and all that stuff. So none of the other shows have done that ever, and this was the first one, so I gotta commend it for that. Plus the opening is one of my favorite openings ever, and the animation is just fantastic. It's from the same guys that did uh, New Game and uh, what was the other one? Oh, oh uh, Helpful Fox Senko-san, which is also a wholesome show, so yeah. Really excited that I own How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. It's a shame that we're not getting a season two. Uh, hopefully, with enough sales, there is incentive enough for them to go back and animate more stuff, or I don't know. I, I would like to see more. And finally, I mentioned earlier Sailor Moon. I am continuing the uh, collecting. You can sort of see it back there, the Sailor Moon sets on Blu-ray. I'm a little bit late to the game. But I want to have not every single anime on Blu-ray, that's not my goal, but at least the essentials and the stuff I like. And this is something that I'm really excited about because I only saw just a handful of episodes growing up, and I've always wanted to see the full series. So here is uh, Sailor Moon S, which is basically the third season. Here are the two volumes inside and the uh, guidebook uh, limited edition booklet, which gives you I can show you the covers at least. So here's the first part, and here's the second one right there. And the booklet. It's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty hard box. And the booklet you get. With the booklet you get um, episode descriptions as well as art from the series, which is really cool and character designs right there yeah so really excited about this and hopefully i can get seasons four and five uh because i think one of them might be out of print or a little bit harder to find I, i'm not too sure but i'm pretty sure this series will always be evergreen so i'm not too worried about it okay moving on let's go to the comic book section because even though i'm not collecting uh so many 
uh, comic books or graphic novels as I once was, I'm still getting a few titles. There are a couple of series that I do want to own, uh, mostly older stuff or something that's cool and easy to get. I'm not uh, exactly going after uh, new titles or omnis or whatever. I'm mostly focusing on uh, famous runs. Uh, for example, Alan Moore's Swamp Thing, which I've always wanted to own, and I had the first trade paperback. I didn't want to buy the absolutes because they're a little bit pricey, uh, so instead I opted to get the trade paperbacks, like I just said. So here is uh, book two, and the rest of the volumes will eventually arrive. So here is a taste of Swamp Thing right there. The next series is another one that I really like. I made a review on the first volume here on this channel if you want to check it out. It is Brian Azzarello's and Eduardo Rizzo's Moonshine. If you don't know what Moonshine is, this is a graphic novel about a werewolf story in Prohibition America. So it's really fantastic. And uh, you might have seen my previous haul where I talked about the Street Fighter books and how I sold uh, the previous books and then uh, rebought them because I actually did want to collect them. So I got the Street Fighter Classics 1, 2, and 3, and here I have Street Fighter 4. Even though it says Volume 1, it's just this volume. So fortunately, it doesn't say Volume 1 on the spine. But yeah, I'm really excited to continue my journey through uh, the Street Fighter universe in comic book form. Just really awesome stuff. Um, they, I do want to get everything and eventually make my way towards the Darkstalkers because that's another game I, I used to play and, and love. And of course, uh, Street Fighter vs. Darkstalkers, crossovers, all that stuff. I forgot to show some of the art because I did so for... Uh, Demon Slayer and Dr. Stone and all that stuff. So, yeah. Although you've probably already seen this stuff before. Uh, this isn't exactly new stuff. And this book is actually a month old now in my collection. I totally forgot to highlight it on the previous haul for summer. It, it is, of course, from Fanographics, The Complete Life and Times of Scrooge McDuck from Don Rosa. This is the hardcover box set that you see right here. This thing is massive and beautiful and awesome. I remember reading this a very long time ago when I was super tiny. I used to love reading all the DuckTales and Duck books and all that stuff. But it's been so long, I barely remember anything. And a nice thing to collect and a good place to start would be here. So yeah, this claimed 12 issue run if I remember correctly. And these boxes are awesome. Uh, Fanographics always does amazing work. Here's volume two right here. Let me show you volume one, of course. So, yeah. Oh, and the sweet kicker about this is that I got this for a hefty discount on Amazon. It was going for, uh, the retail price on this is $60. I got it for $24 or $23 bucks because there was a summer discount code or something. Uh, plus, it was already on sale, applied the two things, and I got it for uh, $24, which is insane for such a beautiful collection. All right, let's close out this uh, haul with some um, video games and regular Blu-rays. Now, this is video game related, but not necessarily a game or a Blu-ray movie. This is uh, something really cool that I did not know existed, and I was kicking myself for not knowing. I got an art folio for Metroid Other M right there. Let's see if you can. There it is. There you go. And what this contains are uh, sort of oversized postcards, basically, about uh, Metroid Other M. If I remember correctly, this was a pre order bonus from. Uh, GameStop when you got the Wii game for Metroid Other M, Metroid being my favorite Nintendo franchise and video games. One of my goals is collecting as much Metroid things I, that I can get. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot because Nintendo just <laughs> doesn't care about the franchise apparently and likes to ignore it whenever there's an anniversary or just overall just uh, not pay too much attention to it. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, oh, sorry. It's uh, renderings and art from the video game with some descriptions. Here you can see some of the spaceships. Here's a scene from the game. 
really cool stuff and you can get creative and display it properly and um, do like a little art piece right there or something here's samus and leave this was the first at the time the first illustration for the zero suit samus right here samus is one of my favorite video game characters of all time she's just an utter badass other M wasn't the best game at all. A lot of people hate this, uh, with good reason. <laughs> but I want to get a full set of Metroid uh, memorabilia and all the video games and all that stuff. Speaking of Nintendo, uh, this is uh, the highest selling Switch game of all time as of August 2020, and I can't believe I still didn't have it. So I picked up a copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I know it had a lukewarm reception, or a mixed one at that. It is Paper Mario and the Origami King. If you remember the last haul video, I had ordered it, <laughs> and it got lost in the mail or something, and it took forever. Almost two months for me to get this, which is insane. But I finally got it. I remember typing an email to GameStop, like, hey, um... What the heck's what the heck happened to this because uh, it's not media mail because media mail is being held up because of obvious reasons so i was wondering like do you have any status updates on this like i don't mind waiting i just want to know where this thing is because when you typed in the shipping the tracking number it showed nothing and when i finally do get a response the person typing was like oh it says it arrived i'm like wait what and i checked and just as i had written the email uh, it decided to arrive at my uh, address, so yay. Uh, finally, to finish off this very long and weird haul, I've got some Godzilla movies. Yeah, uh, for some reason I decided, you know what, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing my Godzilla Blu-ray collection. I don't have the Criterion set, but I decided to get everything else and later <laughs> get that Criterion because it's a little pricey, or at least for me. So I got the Sony licensed Toho films, uh, the, yeah, the Toho Godzilla collection. So I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Some of these are out of print, which sucks. This one I got above retail price, which sucks, but I didn't pay too much over the suggested retail price, so I didn't mind. Uh, but the rest, uh, you can get them for cheap uh, still, even though I think all of them are probably uh, out of stock everywhere, but you can still find them. So there's that one. Here's another one. These are all just fantastic movies. Godzilla 2000 is one of my favorites. Tokyo SOS and Final Wars. The one I'm missing is Godzilla vs. Biollante, which is stupidly out of print. It is ridiculous. I think it goes on eBay for hundreds of dollars, which is so stupid. I, I had the opportunity to get it for at least $20 at one point, but I didn't, I didn't know. I, I, I wasn't committed to owning these movies. I didn't want to complete the set or anything, and I let it go. I remember seeing eBay offers for cheap. Now I regret it, because I think I even saw one... Uh, a sold listing for like 250 something stupid like that the thing is uh, Miramax was the one that had the license they lost it so Toho got the rights back and Sony has it for this type of releases for the Toho Godzilla collection so maybe we'll see it one day released in this format with the uh, green banner or something I don't know I mean I'm not dying to get that movie <laughs> even though uh, it it's one of the favorites and one of the best ones actually but it is what it is uh, I just find it ridiculous that a movie like that can just suddenly skyrocket in price and rarity online it, you see it all the time because uh, I do have saved searches for it and everybody's like 174 I want a hundred bucks for it shut up <laughs> So guys, uh, with that mini rant out of the way, that's my haul for August. Not a bad haul. Some very interesting things. Uh, I am missing 
what am I missing? I'm missing uh, one Switch game, which you will see eventually, but I did order it uh, a few days before recording this, so uh, I knew it wasn't going to arrive in time. And a really cool item that I hinted at in previous streams, so when that gets here, I'll probably do something with it. Uh, I'll do a video on it. Before I go, I got a cool little surprise i guess i don't know i got uh some digital codes that i wanted to give out to you guys okay so here's a digital code for how heavy are the dumbbells you lift if you're able to get it uh leave a comment down below so i know who you are and here's a code for mob psycho season two hopefully if you are able to snag that one as well leave a comment down below so i know who it was thank you everybody so other than that i'm pretty excited that i got everything and i can't wait to uh, Rewatch Godzilla films and play through uh, Mario and then like Paper Mario, I mean. And yeah, uh, read some manga, watch some anime, and enjoy life. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul video. Uh, it was a little bit all over the place, but thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting this channel, liking, commenting, subscribing, and, and just being a part of the A Week in Geekdom experience. Thank you so very much. I've got to go. As always, links down below to social media, links down below to the merch store, etc, etc. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next episode.